Okay, so it's time for lunch and I am at a Crayola inspired place in Carousel downtown by Pierre de Mir. And this is it. Super cute called Curasauce. But yeah, so I'm gonna go check that out and you'll see shortly what I want. I hope it's hot because that looks spicy. Inside is really cute. It's almost like a little home. And they have like these little nice tables. It's like your own little dining room that you can eat in. And then they prepare everything for you. Nice and fresh. And the kitchen is back there. Look at this. It's like your own little cozy kitchen. I love this. This is so cute. So homey. This nice clock. Cute little mirror. Hi. The kitchen never closes as long as you're the cook. That's a fact because I'm never off duty. If somebody's hungry, I have to make it. Okay, so first up on the drink menu for us is lemon juice. Now, they have limes on the side, so I think it might have been a mix of lemon and lime. I'm not 100% sure because I don't speak the same language, but it is nice, sweet, and refreshing. Okay, so I'm here with Josette, and she is the beautiful woman who cooks all of this food. And she's going to explain what exactly all of this is. Um, this is baby spinach. And this is um, pasta. This is salad pasta with um, carrots, a little um, spice, and this is banana. Yes, plantain. Plantain. Mm -hmm. And this is the rice with. It is a veggie rice. What is this? This is a like a patty. It is a plantain and zucchini. Plantain and zucchini patty. Yes. And then pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. Hot pepper. Okay, so this is their onion fermented pepper sauce. Then we have a passion fruit hot sauce. This is here, and I have it all. Can I explain what it was before? But now it's a taste test. And with my knife, I don't want to spill it. But this bomb pepper sauce. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah. This pepper sauce, so good, so hot, spicy. Nice zucchini. Let me try this rice. How we want it. That's really good too with the onions and the spice. Everything is nice. I really love this, but this, this pepper sauce, I need to bring this home because this is what I need on everything. So good, so spicy, but it's not too spicy, but it's just like the perfect little, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and get into all of this right here. Yes. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so they gave me the pepper sauce bottle so that I would know what to buy when I wanted to bring it back home. And it is Mr. D's Hot Sauce with Character Sweet Passion Fruit. I could literally drink this out of the bottle. It's spicy, but it still has that nice little sweetness to it and this is coming back home with me for sure. I wanted to come back to the kitchen just to say thank you or danke again to the beautiful chef. Yes, <laughs> danke. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. And then come. <laughs> yes. Hi. <laughs> <Bye>. Goodbye. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna come back. Yes. Cute little alleyway to walk through. And then this. 
is the beige blah like consignment shop of clothing and then another restaurant called deja vu i can barely see it so bright but fresh local lobster i'm gonna eat that look at these flowers it's just so pretty here la mansion rose my outline eat water with me while i'm walking so pretty. So colorful, so nice. Yeah, this restaurant right here used to be So this was the first vegan spot. Super cute. Too. Looks a little bit down. Neither my area. Yeah. I am walking to the old market in the Peter Meyer district called Marche Viejo, and that is old fashioned uh, pavimento, the language that they actually speak. So, this is it. And it's like all different types of food that they cook for you and it's like cafeteria style almost. Super cute. They just have everything. So they actually don't cook on any type of fire. They cook on old coal stoves or grills I should say. But no gas, no electric. Everything is super old fashioned here. So we're also walking to the new market that came in the 70s and it's a little bit more up to date than the last one that I just showed. What kind of bush? What kind of bushes are these? Well, they have, they have sage, they have some coriander, um, oregano, you know, that kind of stuff. Honey. some herbs what is this you know I gotta get some spices and bring them back now so this island is a mix of everything so they speak Spanish and look at that moringa moringa 100% natural ah. flor de jameca habiscus strong back See an old type of cart, a babi batitos cart, and the majority of it is old fashioned with just sugar and milk. But do you see that? Sour sop, guavanabana. Yes. I'm ordering sour sop mixed with pineapple, but they normally serve this with milk. But since I'm vegan, I'm not getting milk. And she's making it right now. Sorry, milk? No milk. No milk. Thank you. Well, danke, danke. 